guys welcome to my blog hello so this is um english quarter one week 4.1 okay so for this week our topic will be the kinds of sentences according to structure so you are going to discuss the kinds of sentences according to structure your objectives for this week are the following. Classify sentences according to structure. Identify the independent and dependent clauses in the given sentences. And write meaningful sentences following the suggested structure correctly. So, you on, uh, under understand the kinds of sentences according to structure. So, previously, you have learned to determine the correct orders of sentence. For this lesson, you will know more about the kinds of sentences according to the structure. So, first, let us define what is a sentence. So, a sentence is generally defined as a word or group of words that expresses a complete thought or idea. A sentence is the largest unit of any language. In English, it begins with a capital letter and ends with a period, a comma, a question mark, or an exclamation point. There are four kinds of sentences according to structure. Let's, let's take them up in a detail. So number one, a simple sentence. It consists of one independent clause. An independent clause contains a subject and verb and expresses a complete thought. So, for example, she likes coffee. Jeremy loves tea. Mary did not go to the party. The guy left the dog. Second, compound sentence is two or more independent clauses joined by a conjunction or semicolon. Each of these clauses could form a sentence alone. So, independent clause plus coordinating conjunction plus independent clause. So, for example, she likes coffee, independent clause. And Jeremy loves tea, independent clause. So, independent clause plus independent clause with a coordinating conjunction, it is now called a compound sentence. Okay, so next um, sentence, our dog barks. That is, a, that is a, a, an independent clause. Our dog barks when she hears a noise. So our dog barks is an independent clause. When she hears a noise, that is a dependent clause. Okay, so for number two, Mary went to work. That is a, an example of an independent clause. Carlo went to the party, another independent clause. So two independent clauses joined together with a conjunction mark, co conjunction of and, um, conju coordinating conjunction will become now a compound sentence. So Mary went to work, but Carlo went to the party so that becomes now a compound sentence okay and then let's go now to complex sentence it consists of an independent clause plus a dependent clause a dependent clause starts with subordinating conjunction or a relative pronoun and contains a subject and verb but does not express a complete thought so number one example we missed our plane because we came late so, we missed our plane, that is the independent clause, and then because we, became, we came late, that is the dependent clause. So, the, um, the subordinating conjunction here is the word because. Okay, so we missed our plane because we came late. That now, that sentence now becomes a complex sentence. Next, next example, our dog barks when she hears a noise. So, what is the independent clause there? The independent clause here in this, in this sentence is the our dog barks. And then, the subordinating conjunction is the word when. Then, she hears a noise is the dependent clause. Because she hears a noise is not a complete uh, sentence or it does not uh, set a, says a complete ano, 
a complete thought. So therefore, it is a dependent clause. So our dog barks when she hears a noise. That's, that sentence now becomes a complex sentence. So for subordinating conjunctions, we have the following examples. After, although, as, because, before, how, if, once, since, that, though, till, until, when, where, whether, while. Okay. So for relative pronouns, the examples are that, which, whom, and whose. Number four, compound complex sentence. It consists of two independent clauses and one or more dependent clauses. So for example, John didn't come because he was ill, so Mary was not happy. So there are two dependent clauses and one independent clause. So the independent clause for this example is that John didn't come. Okay? And the dependent clause because he was ill, so Mary was not happy. Okay? So look at your capslet so that you will be guided in answering this um the SAQ1, SAQ2, let's practice and the let's try. Okay, so number two question at uh, example. He left in a hurry after getting a phone call but came back five minutes later. So another one independent clause and two dependent clauses. So what are what is the independent clause here? The independent clause in this sentence is that he left in a hurry and then the dependent clause is after getting a phone call and then another dependent clause but came back five minutes later and that makes it a compound complex sentence okay i hope that is clear to you now how are you going to answer this saq1 okay that direction here says Tell whether the sentence is simple or compound. Write your answer on the space provided before each number. So do not anymore write the sentences. You can just write 1 to 5 and then for number 1, December is the merriest month of the year. So what do you think? What kind of sentence is this? Is this a simple sentence? Is this a compound sentence? Is this a complex sentence? Or is it a compound complex sentence? So, choose between the four, among the four answers, what is the correct uh, sentence here? So, if your answer is compound complex sentence, so you have to write your answer right away. Do not anymore copy the sentences. So, how are you going to write? Please don't forget to write your names when answering this capslet. Remember, um, we are handling 50, 45 to 50 students, so please don't forget to write your name. Okay, so write your name on the topmost part of your paper. Of course, the, the grade level and the, and the section that you are in. And then you write there, capslet week 4.1, and then you write... Uh, below SAQ1 and then 1 to 5 and then you write that there what is your answer 1 to 5 and then for SAQ2 underline and label the independent clause and in independent clause in each of the following so this time here you need to copy the sentences why you need to copy the sentences so that the teacher who is going to check your paper will also be guided on how to check it for example, we missed the plane because we were late. So, you find now here, where is the dependent and the independent clause? Again, independent clause, they can stand alone because it has a complete thought. And then dependent clause, it cannot stand alone because it has no complete thought thought so for example we missed the plane because we were late so you are going to underline we missed the plane because it is an independent clause it has a complete thought and then for the dependent clause because we were late so very easy right so you have to 
study the sentences for you to get the correct answer. So this is also 1 to 5. So you have to copy the sentences here. And then you underline the independent and the dependent clause. And then what you are going to do is to, of course, label it. For example, um, we miss the plane. Okay, so you underline that we miss the plane and then put under the line the independent clause or i c and then because we were late you underline that one and then you put there the d c or dependent clause okay that's also one to five for let's practice what you are going to do here for let's practice so write five meaningful sentences about your experiences staying home because of covid19 pandemic Okay, so follow the suggested structure. So once again, you can go back to this side here on how you are going to construct your sentences. So these are the structures. So you are going to, this time you are going to write your own meaningful sentences regarding the staying at home because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So for simple sentence, you can write a simple sentence. Compound, compound, complex, and then compound, complex. Okay, so you have also five, uh, you need to also have five answers here. Okay, so for remembered, let's have, let's, I am going to read to you the key points. In terms of structure, the sentence can be classified in four ways. Simple sentence, one independent clause. Compound sentence, two independent clauses. Complex sentence, an independent clause and one dependent clause. And for compound complex sentence, two or more dependent clauses and at least one dependent clause. So there you have it. There you have it. How you are going to construct a sentence. There is a key point here. Just remember the key points. Again, for simple sentence, one independent clause. For compound sentence, two independent clauses. For complex sentences, an independent clause and one dependent clause. And then for compound complex, two or more independent clauses and at least one dependent clause. So it's clear, right? So now let's go to try. Okay, so let's see how much you have learned. Answer on your yellow pad. Again, please don't forget to write your name, your year level, of course, your the grade, grade and the section. And then please indicate there what you are answering. Okay, so for this one, the directions are tell whether the sentence in each is item is simple compound complex or compound complex write on this your answers on the base the space provided before each item so since again you are writing on your yellow paper what you are going to do here is to number one uh, write the uh, write the word simple for simple sentence compound for compound sentences compound complex and um yeah compound complex so what you are going to write for number one is really the word okay for number one example mr moreno cherished the photograph of his family again number one mr moreno cherished the photograph of his family so what is this what kind of sentence is this so it, if it is a simple sentence you write there simple if it is a compound sentence you write there compound if it is a complex sentence you write there complex and then if it is a compound Compound complex, you also write the compound complex sentence. So I hope you got it. That is 10 points. Okay, so thank you very much. That, it, that is it for English quarter one, week 4.1. So thank you so much for listening, for um, watching this video, and I hope you have learned something. So once again, this is Teacher Menchi and Please don't forget to subscribe and hit like for more videos. Thank you so much my dear students. God bless you. Bye-bye.